and Santa Morris, uh, the kickoff was at 12.07. Uh, the kick did not go 10 meters. So what we're going to have here is a scrum to the men uh, from Lansdowne. I mean, I'm sorry, a scrum to the men from Morris at the halfway line. So here we go. Uh, first scrum of the match. Okay, the referee is blowing the whistle because guys engaged too early. It's going to be a big push again. We engage him. Oh, okay. They got out very quick. Lovely. Very quick ball. It was good idea because it gave them a platform. Uh, Luke Russell again at the point of contact and it's a bit of a rolling ball here. Ball goes down. I don't know who has the Okay, the referee's making a decision here. Okay, the ball goes to Lansdowne. I guess somebody's hands are in the ruck. Okay, so it's going to be a scrum to the boys. The what? Quality players, yeah. Oh, yeah. They played with the Witcherly Brothers, and the Witcherly Brothers just put out Exeter from the Heineken Cup today. Oh, uh, wow. Great push by Morris, but Luke Russell comes down with the ball. Uh, magnificent run. Gained about four meters, five meters. Wow. Out to George Reese. Lanzano in the attack. They're now at the uh, Morris 10. Comes another ball out. Oh, knock forward. Yeah, it's a knock forward against Lansdowne too, Morris. Morris are going to have the ball between just outside uh, their own 22. It's going to be a scrum to Morris. And Old Richie is going to have a seat because Old Richie is old and bareback. So he can sit down here. Oh, yeah. Okay. So it's a scrum to the men from New Jersey, our friends from Morris. The last time I played was an old boys game for Morris against the Castle Island old boys down in Castle Island, Kerry. It was about seven years ago. What a day that was for my injury. That was an absolute magnificent day. <sighs> so, six minutes in. Pushed by the boys from Lansdowne off their maiden rounds. So the referee likes what he sees. So the scrum will continue. Lovely. Great response by Morris because they were getting shoved back, but they stopped the Lansdowne scrum. <sighs> oh, there we go. It is an infringement by the men from New Jersey, our friends from Morris. So Lansdowne will have, um, let's see, they're going to kick a goal or they're going to kick into touch. Looks like kick into touch. Dear friend Hugh Byrne. Great kick by Huey, who is a phenomenal kicker. So Lansdowne have an excellent platform for which to attack because there's going to be a line out uh, from along the pitch. I'm guessing about 10 meters out. Yuan starting at number two today. He's about to throw the ball into the lineup. Mick is conditioning specialist for our club and has built himself into a magnificent hooker. Okay, it looks like that looks like it looks like Niall Dillon. Niall? Was that Niall? Yep. So lovely hands by Niall Dillon, the indomitable Niall Dillon. So In minute eight, after that penalty, um, 
that went against Morris. Um, beautiful kick into touch, lovely line out, a great throw by Nick Lon. And Niall Dillon came about with the ball and slammed into goal. And Lance Aaron now up by five points to uh, zero. side of the pitch. I will find out briefly. He's taking in the goal. I think that might be Alex Griffin. No, it's not. Sorry? Uh, he's kicking now. Yes, it is. Who is the out half? Can you see? I can't see from here. Okay, whoever the out half is, Conversion good, so in minute number eight, uh, Lanzan are up seven mil. Oh. Dan, do you know who the out half is? Eddie Ringler. Um, had the ball in hand, but unfortunately knocked it forward. So we're going to see it. We're going to see a scrum to uh, Morris. He's, I'm sorry? Brendan Healy used to play for White Plains. Brendan Healy's the out half? Oh, wow. I, did, I thought he was the center. Okay. Okay, it was Brendan Healy who converted. Okay. Uh, we're going to see a scrum to the men from New Jersey. Morris Rugby Club is going to have a scrum. What happened? Sid, how are you? You good? Not too bad. No complaints. How are you doing? Good, 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 good. How's that going? Okay, so uh, serious pressure by Lansdown, but Morris were able to come down with the ball. And I think they're going to call a knock forward against Morris. So it looks like Lansdown are going to get the ball back. James Burke, and how old is he? Uh, 32. 32. 32 old bastard. He's over there. I know, I know, I know. And he went off he goes, after his, 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 next, his next name is S S L A P P E R. S L A P P E R. Clapper. S L A P P E R. Clapper. Oh, Clapper. Oh, okay. okay. Like the movie. Exactly. Say happy, happy birthday, Clapper. Okay. Um, the men from our friends uh, from Dublin, St. Mary's RFC, want to wish a happy birthday to James Burke, who is also known as Slapper, <laughs> fondly known as Slapper. So the Slapper man has his 32nd birthday. Happy birthday, lad. Happy birthday to you. So a lovely run by Lansdowne. Um, we are now in the uh, Morris half of the field. Unfortunately, um, there may have been a knock forward. And what's happening is uh, going to have a, a scrum. Okay, big push by Lansdown, but again, Mars. Well, it looked like they got the ball out quickly. They didn't, um, but yes, they did. Okay. Um, uh, evidently, Lansdown knocked it forward. That's what the referee uh, indicated. Um, couldn't see if that was on the other side. Uh, if, we, if I were on the other side of the pitch, I may have been able to see it, but not from this angle. So it's going to be, again, a scrum to the men from New Jersey, our old friends from Morris. Okay, here comes the push. 
and uh, Morris have held steadfast when they needed to. Um, they have gotten the ball out quickly, which is always a good idea. And the attacking platform has worked. Wow. Look at this. They're on the other side of the uh, halfway line now. Lands on territory. Great hands. Great hands. Lovely pass, but great hands. Okay, back to the, wow, the loose head prop. Lovely hands there. Whoa. The props today. It's funny how rugby, what rugby has become because you need your props and your hooker to be able to pass and catch as well. Um, you look at a team like Leinster and all three of their front row starters and the backups too are able to offload uh, very adeptly. So here's a kick into touch. Okay, no, didn't make it into touch. He's going to let it go and it's going to go in the back of the end goal, which means that it's going to be a scrum from the halfway line. Went through the, ba went, went through the back of the end goal. Lansan are going to get the ball. Scrum from the halfway line. So. Half 19, it was 06, so we have approximately seven minutes left in the half. He said it was from the kick? Okay. Okay, quick kick back. Uh, wow. Lovely turn of events. There goes Eddie Ringler. Eddie, wow. It looked like a forward pass. I think the referee's got, yes. Oh no, it wasn't a forward pass. Maybe it was obstruction on the, the men from Morris. Okay. See my angle, I can't really, I miss some of these players, but another kick into touch by our friend, uh, Hugh Byrne. Shout out to his dad, Tom, who's a dear friend of mine. I think he is in, he might be in Bahrain, somewhere in the Middle East. I forget, he told me, but uh, he's working away there. Hope he's well. Hope you're well, Tom, if you're listening. So Lanzan will have a line out and a magnificent attacking platform because they're only a few meters out. It's going to be a five meter uh, line out. comes to throw, Luke comes down with the ball, um, it is now a, it's a rolling ball, Lance out on the attack right near the touch line, so the referee has seen something he does not like, uh, perhaps it was a crossing, I don't know, but Lance out have just turned the ball over, and uh, it's going to be a scrum or a kick into touch, I didn't see what the infraction or the infringement was so I don't know it's uh it's let's see we have a try was it converted uh yes it was it's seven nil we're up seven nil yeah yep so here's Paul Intenzo the former uh Lansdowne CEO how are you Paul how's the family good to see you brother so there was a, a bit of a rolling ball a kick out it looks like it's going to go into touch it does so Lansdowne are going to have another good attacking platform as there's going to be a line out. Uh, just, uh, let's see, we're just outside the 22, it appears. I didn't see any flags. Right around, the, yes, there is the flag there. It's right by the 22. So Nick Yuan's getting set to throw in. Okay, lovely line out. He's going to call something. Scrum to Morris. No, if it was a crooked line out, it would be coming line out to uh, Morris. I'm unaware of a call, but it's going to be a scrum to Morris. Um, fortunately, two lands out infractions when they're deep inside Morris territory um, have come up with term turnovers. So. Big push on both, both sides. 
and Zen seem to be winning the battle of the push. Ball comes out. Morris are on the attack. And there's a big tackle by whom? I cannot see, but that was a lovely tackle, whoever that was by. Evidently, there was some kind of advantage. The referee has been played back to just inside the 22. So it was a penalty. It was a kick, uh, a uh, quick tap. And the fellow from Morris gained, oh, the hooker gained a uh, lovely run by the by the uh, the Morris hooker. Gained approximately uh, 10 meters on that one. Okay, here comes a breakdown of the phase. Ronan Costo, the bulldozer, comes through the tunnel. Uh, but Morris still get the ball out. Here we go. Wow, nice run. Gained approximately eight meters. Right through the tunnel. That was right through the tunnel. Great tackle by Nile. Nile made a magnificent tackle. Got him right on the uh, the angles. Uh, little breakdown. Okay, uh, can't see. Oh, Renzen have stolen the ball. Lovely. All right, Huey Byrne splitting the defense. Not quite. The fullback comes up with it. Okay, it's going to be a knock, a, it's a knock forward for Morris, so it's going to be a scrum to Lansdowne. Okay, there are approximately two minutes left in the half. It's going to be a scrum to Lansdowne. Scrum, ball comes out. Alex Griffin, pinpoint pass to Brandon. Wow. Oh, my God. George. George. Oh, my God. George Reese with a magnificent drive from 30 meters out. Oh, my God. I think he caught the pass from Brandon Haley. I'm not sure. But George Reese with a great drive from really downtown. Beautiful run by George. So... With only a minute left in the half, George Reese has scored a try. It is now 12 points to Lansdowne with the upcoming kick at goal by our friend Brandon. I don't think he's going to miss this one. He's right in the middle of the pitch, and he's only a few meters out. So here comes the kick. The kick is good as 14 points to uh, Lansdowne at the death. The ref is checking the clock. I guess there's another minute or two left. One minute left. Thank you, sir. So we have a minute left. Uh, the ball is going to go back to Lansdowne. Sorry? Yes, 14 nil. Okay, so uh, the men from Morris, my former old boys teammates, although these lads are way too young to have been my teammates. Okay, um, the ball went to Nile, and uh, unfortunately, um, I think the sun might have gotten in his eye because the sun was pointing directly at his face uh, from the angle. So, balls are knocked forward. Uh, this gives a very good platform for the men from New Jersey to attack. It's a scrum from approximately. The 22. So here we go. We're gearing up for the scrummage. Thank you, sir. You're very kind. Boom. Okay, the referee saw something that he did not like. He's going to reset the scrum. It appears. Yes, he is. Reset the scrum, and the boys are getting set to line up again. Okay, big push by Lansdowne, but again, Morris, very nifty, very skillful, coming quickly out. 
of the scrum on the attack here. Uh, the referee saw something he didn't like. I didn't see what it was. Perhaps one of the defenders was off his feet. So it's going to be another scrum uh, to the men from New Jersey. Okay, here comes the put in uh, by the Mars scrum half. Big push, ball comes out. Wow, magnificent defense by Alex Griffin. Gary Owens, finest Alex Griffin. Uh, pushed uh, the point of compa contact back approximately 10 to 12 meters. Here comes a pass out to a uh, very large second row. Uh, ball comes down, um, looked like it went backwards. So it did and the, the attack continues. Uh, it's going to land sound. The I don't know why. Perhaps somebody was off his feet. Uh, Ron, uh, Ronan Costello, the human blockbuster, just to cause a turnover. And land sound get the kick back. And it appears land sound are going to kick into touch because they're beyond the halfway line. I think it would be insane to try and kick that goal. Oh, good choice, lads. Okay. Uh, there you go. Wow. What a kick into touch by Mr. Hugh Byrne. Tom, if you saw that, you'd be proud. I don't know if you're watching the game, but that was absolutely magnificent. Great job by Hugh Byrne to get the ball into touch. Okay, so on to have a throw in. the throw. Uh, it was a little topsy-turvy there, but wow, great pass by Brandon. Who did he pass to? George Reese again. Oh my God, that George Reese never disappoints in showing the world what talent this, this lad has. And he is a proper rugby player. Magnificent try. Brandon Healy to George. George has just scored his second try. It puts Lanzan up by 19 points to nil. Uh, Brandon is going to be kicking, uh, it looks like, in the middle of the pitch and right underneath the post. What a great try by George. George has his brace for the day. Well done. So here comes the kick at goal. If he makes it, it will be 21 points to nil at the half. It is right now 19 points to nil. So. There you go. 21 points to nil. Lansdowne are up by uh, three tries going into the second half, and we are now going on a break.
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're about to get, begin the second half. Uh, okay, so preparing for the second half of the match. Okay, here's a kick. Uh, the kicker for um, Morris kicked it directly into touch, so that would indicate it's going to be a, um, a scrum to land sound at the halfway line. So the second half just got underway at 12.34. 12.34 is the beginning of the second half, and uh, land sound will have a scrum at the halfway line. by Morris, magnificent, but Lanzan came with the ball so quickly. Uh, Captain Luke went off his leg backwards, but he's going to score a, a knock forward. Yep. The, uh, so it's going to be a scrum to the men from New Jersey at the halfway line. Poochie from the NYPD has uh, decided to get involved in the action there. Let's see how his paws are when it comes to collecting the, oh, it's a land sound Poochie. Let's see how his paws are when it comes to collecting the ball. All right, here we go. About to embark on another scrum. Fantastic run by the, the Morris swinger. Lovely offload. Morris are on the att serious attack. They just gained like literally 50 meters. What a beautiful run by their strong side uh, winger. Still on the attack. Morris have uh, to break down. Here comes the hooker. Very strong fellow. Um, the land sound wall of defense was very effective there. There you go. Uh, the ball's taking a couple of seconds. Looks like it's going to be an advantage in the direction of Morris. I think the referee had his arm up there for uh, a couple of seconds. And here comes the loose head prop, who is a very strong man. Powerhouse of a lad. Okay. The, uh, wow. Wow. I don't know what position that 24 plays, but he is a strong man. Lovely run, but the referee saw something he didn't like, and it was still advantage. So, Looks like it's going to be a quick tap on the part of Morris. Oh, he's going to kick it into touch. Okay, I thought they were going to quick tap it, but he kicked, he uh, chose the line out instead. Uh, so the men from Morris have a lovely attacking platform as they're inside the 22 and they're about to embark on the line out. Okay, here it comes. And they threw it backwards. I, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was clear. Oh, I know what he's saying there. Uh,
Harris um, just gained a couple of meters and they're rolling more. Lovely stuff. Okay, the center goes straight down the middle of the pitch. And uh, there was a ruck. Rolls out to that winger who I've never seen feedback. I ran down the pitch. I thought he was going to go in. He was so fast. Um, there's a breakdown. Lens on defense was excellent, shoving the men from Morris back a wee bit. And it's a good tackle. The one of the Morris forwards was on the go. That fellow's big. That strong man. He's still on his feet. He just gained like three meters, four meters. Uh, there's a breakdown. Somebody got shoved in the tunnel. Uh, the human wrecking machine, our own Ron Costell again, is making his mark. It's another breakdown. Morris are looking to do something. It's against Lansdowne. I don't know what. Uh, So, wow, uh, the tick did, uh, kick did not make it into touch. I think it was intercepted by Alex Griffin, who made a magnificent kick all the way to the other side of the pitch. Oh, nope, it went into touch. There was going to be a line out to the men from New Jersey. Um, let's see. It looks like it's going to be between the 10 and the 22. Yes, it is. Okay, quick ball out by uh, Morris. Okay, lovely hands by the men from Morris. Show, really showed some really good stuff, handle-wise. Okay, there was a referee's about to make a call. Okay, um, all right. Clearing out, so. Uh, the men from Morris are going to have a kick into touch. Yes, what's up? How you doing, man? co-announcer in the previous game, the St. Mary's game. Niall was the president of uh, Minster Rugby for a while. Magnificent commentator and a gentleman. I'm delighted to have him. Hopefully he'll be doing the, uh, the other uh, St. Mary's games as well. Okay, line out. Wow, great stuff by Morris. Really good stuff. Dogged line out. Wow, a nice try, but a bit of an overlap. Okay, um, I don't know what happened. Somebody might be in touch. Too many bodies in the way. It appears that, so hey, how you doing, bud? It appears that somebody was knocked into touch. Uh, nope, there was some kind of penalty. Okay, I didn't see what it was. It's a wee bit too far for me, even with my glasses. Ball is stolen by Luke. The magnificent Luke Russell rolls out. Uh-oh, wow. Okay, lovely little run there. Give Landau, Lanzan a little bit of breathing room. And it's against Lanzan again. Hmm. Uh, Morris are right in front of goal. So let's see what happens. Okay, the referee just scored a try. Uh, called a try. I didn't see how that went down. Uh, just a mass of bodies. So, uh, Morris are now down by 25, 21 points to five with the subsequent kick a goal right in front of the post. I doubt very much he will miss this.
Okay, so the kick is good. Uh, the men from Morris have crept within 14. So the score now is 21 points to seven to uh, the home side. Uh, the host of the tournament lands down. 21 points to seven. The subs subsequent kick. Uh, I think uh, the magnificent Johnny Giordano is on the pitch. Johnny, who's been a Lansdowne stalwart for the better part of more than a decade, showing those uh, that magnificent speed of his. There he goes. Wow, great play by Johnny. There you go. <laughs> All of a sudden, I look like I know what I'm doing as an announcer. <laughs> ah. Mr. Gang just made a magnificent steal, moved the ball up. Here comes the indomitable Niall Dillon. Ball's out. Wow, look at Lukey go. Ah. Knocked forward by Lansdowne. Okay, the men from Morris. Good pickup continue the attack uh, due to the fact that it was an advantage to the New Jersey men. Here's a breakdown. Okay. Morris have maintained possession. Quick pass out to the out half. Uh, the ball, the pass was close to the ground. Couldn't see really. Oh, it looks like he may have knocked it forward. and have uh, gotten possession back. Okay, it seems that somebody s appears to be injured on the field. He has a USA skull cap. Excellent. I hope he's okay. So, uh, the referee is indicating time due to the fact I hope this fellow is okay. Physio? Do we have physio today? I'm not sure. The number seven of uh Lads, we got the physio. Jim Hughes. Sorry? Jim Hughes. Jim Hughes, okay. Jim Hughes is the physio today. He's going to check on the Morris player. Hopefully he's okay. Despite the fact that they're practically unavoidable, you hate to see anybody get hurt in rugby, and I hope uh, the Morris number seven is okay. It seems like a problem with his leg. So hopefully he'll be okay. Unfortunately, uh, our man, the strong send flanker from Morris, had to come off the pitch. I hope he's okay. So he'll be replaced, and there are approximately seven minutes left. So the match continues. to touch. Uh, I can't see who made it. I think it was Brandon Healy. Uh, there's going to be a line out for Lansdowne, which is in a good attacking uh, platform. Uh, just outside the, oh, just inside the 10, which is still a good attacking platform. Lansdowne will be throwing the ball in. Comes the line out. Yeah, that was not particularly straight. So the ball now will go to the men from New Jersey. Morris will have the ball back. Uh oh, 
Oh, jeez. Think of it this way, Pat, not anymore. Is everything all right? <laughs> this came out. Thank you. This came out again. All right, so let's just leave it here. All right. Got that? I think we're good. How are we looking, Pat? Keep it away from it. I didn't think it was a problem. Okay, we have a line out to land Sam. Lovely kick, a splitting seam of the defense by Brandon. Truly superb link winger. Looks like he got tripped up just enough to stop him in his tracks. Van Zandt have turned the ball over. Luke Russell is on the attack. Ball comes out. Again. Ref is bringing the ball back. I didn't see what the situation called for, but it's going to be an attacking platform here for uh, Lansam. An infringement, perhaps. I don't think there's going to be a kick at goal. I don't think it warrants it. Go. Quick tap. run. I don't can't see who that is, but that was absolutely magnificent. Lens out of right in front of goal. The referee is checking out the scene. He's deciding what he wants. Fortunately we cannot see it from here. Can you see what happened on the computer? It was just a wee bit too far from here. I don't think it's subscribed. Okay. Looks like the referee scored a try. I don't know who it was, though. What's the score now? The score right now is 26-7. Nope, it was not a try. It's 21-7. There was uh, something against Lansdowne. The fella kicked it out. Great, okay. On the attack, the center here, we have a breakdown. It's Niall Dillon coming up with the ball, gains a couple of meters, point of contact as we're back again. Here we go. Alex Griffin gains a couple of meters. I uh, can't see who that is. Oh, that looked like a high tackle though. Oof. All right, let's break down. Looks like uh, Morris, oh wow. Morris guy kicked it forward, but he still has the ball. Okay, Morris have an advantage right now. Okay, bringing out wide. There's a bit of an overlap. Uh, the center decides to take it. It's a tackle. Uh, okay. 
the 24, just lost possession. Okay, Lansdowne managed to secure possession and kick it down the pitch. Here comes Johnny. Magnuson open field tackle by Johnny. That was great. That was great. Fullback against fullback. Oh, Johnny might be at wing. He's down on the ground. How can How much is left? So we're going to have a throw in uh, for the uh, Morris line out here at the halfway line. Getting close to the end of the match here. Okay, so men from Morris are on the attack. Uh, lovely room. Came through the tunnel. Uh, uh, there's a bit of a discussion whether or not it came through the tunnel or not, or it came through the side. Bit of a discussion here. <laughs> Referee sorting out the situation. Okay, uh, wind is whipping up a bit. You might be hearing the feedback due to the wind. So the out half now has the kick into touch. Okay, so it's going to be a line out to the men from uh, New Jersey. Standing up, uh, Morris have gained a few more meters. Uh, they have a lovely attacking platform right now. Okay, Lance gonna have the ball back. Um, referee has just blown the whistle for the end of the game. Lance gonna come out on top, 21 points to seven. So we have the third game of the tournament coming up in a few minutes. with a stranger I barely know Swear in this will be the last But I probably won't I got nothing left to lose For you It's true my bad habits lead to you
Every time you come around, you know I can't say. 